while everybody was working hard, I selfishly went down to the river and uh, I needed to cool off and change into my clothes where I lost my underwear, my downstream. So it looks like I'm gonna go commando, huh? Oh, you brought extra boxers? Okay. Yeah, I don't need it now. I'm in my swim trunks. But uh, they're preparing food here. And I missed everything. Jay is uh, doing the little cotton thing from the... The bamboo shaving. To make it flammable. And then Joseph right here prepared all the vegetations that we uh, foraged earlier. And I guess we're going to start a uh, fire here. Okay. Oh, parallel to... So this is uh, our, we got our sleeping quarter complete. I just, <laughs> I just uh, took a dip and cooled down in the water. The fire's going. We have enough heat there for just uh, a little blow. We'll uh, get the fire up and going. We are making some uh, food right here, stuffing the bamboo shoots. Yeah, we just harvested this bamboo earlier. Step over the fire here. For drinking cups and to cook in. Just like what Kuya is doing over here. Stuff it and then put it on top of the fire and it will cook yeah earlier I was just splitting some logs over here I was gonna split use that as uh, that stone right there as leverage but Jay was also um, splitting rocks I mean uh, logs over there so I wanted to take it away and uh, just for a safety precaution I took it over here Splitting some raw, uh, <clears throat> splitting some uh, logs. Use the stone as uh, leverage, and it looks like I split the stone rather. But look at how smooth it is. Yeah. If it wasn't so heavy, I'd take it with me home. And use it to cook. Uh, yeah, before. honey, your top looks very ladylike, but your bottom looks like a boy. <laughs> You're wearing my shorts? Yeah. Which is fine. It's and you're barefooted, honey. Yeah. Yeah, the locals, man, I cannot go barefooted here. I will be cut open. Ooh, we're cooking now. The fire's going. And the vegetation is inside the uh, bamboo shoot right here. Whatever we're eating in the forest, we're eating. I'm not complaining. This is a great experience. You my boy, Jay. <laughs> For hooking, <laughs> hooking this up, we don't have any uh, four-foot jungle ninjas. They've evolved. That's his, his relative. Yeah. The short, the, the, when we go to their camp, we see. Yeah, he's a descendant. So he's a... Uh, 75%. 75% 75% Ate Yeah But uh He's a descendant, he's much taller But um We had talking earlier And Kuya Joseph over here said uh, After the three The three day survival uh, Camp is complete with us He's gonna invite us up to his tribe Hopefully um 
It just so happened, coincidentally, that um, his people lives very close to the Dove Monument where our Airbnb is. So we're going to hook up after the fact. And uh, hopefully we get to meet the chief and understand a little bit uh, more in depth of the history of their people. So we're going to get schooled and that's going to be a beautiful, beautiful moment. But look at this. He has a little Y bar, little slingshot to give some uh, leverage to the uh, to the bamboo there, so to catch more heat. Yeah, I feel like such an asshole for not helping, but I did tell them when I first um, reached out that I am a vlogger and uh, I am more into this for content, and uh, I am participating as much as I can. But I also don't want to be the city boy that is useless and that too many hands in the cookie jar and be in the way so um i help with what i can with the labor stuff but the technical stuff i'm gonna leave it up to the pro and just observe for now and my baby my baby right there is a uh, river mermaid she's just chilling out cooling down but uh she deserved it she's the one who uh put in all the effort and building that little hut right there and she's sacrificing her uh comfort and not sleep in the hammock and sleep into uh and lay with me in here and use the hammock as a uh what you gonna call it a sleeping bag basically and just wrap that around us to keep away as much of the insects and ants and stuff like that uh, hopefully no rodents but you know if there are it, uh, the, the sleeping bag thing is gonna work uh, work out better than nothing than, than just to be exposed completely exposed I am loving this my house so nice now Airbnb yeah Jungle BB. <laughs> Airbnb in the jungle. This is not the city life. This is so cool. Go, Jay! Splitting logs with a machete. <laughs> Look at Kuya. Yep. He's uh, shaving down the cup so it's not sharp. We can use it as a cup. Shaving down the uh, bamboo. Shaving on top. Yeah. Make sure you make one for the, the white man also. <laughs> <laughs> to accommodate his nose. <laughs> for the white man. Long. Space for his nose. Where's my cup from the You know, as tiring as this is, this is a very humbling experience. It takes so much effort to break down this log just to uh, create fire. Not like in the city, you pay 20 bucks to fill up a propane tank and you just click on the uh, fire and cook whatever you need to cook. But over here, just so much effort, you know, you gotta go full um, since 3 p.m. You gotta go hunt for a uh, the foliage, chop down the firewood and uh, do the whole st fire starting uh, commotion thing. So much effort just to get one meal. I love this. 
to this tree called six, morning. six to six because at six p.m. till six a.m. it produces water. Oh, uh, that is tibig, tibig, tibig in uh, I in Tagalog, but in uh, Aitas that is called tibuy. Tibuy. Tibuy, yeah. Tibuy. Uh, too big. So it means too big. Water. So it has a water tibuy. Okay. So Kuya is gonna show us how to harvest water from that tree. Uh, which is like a water tree, supposedly. Jay was saying uh, the water produces... I'm sorry, the tree produces water from 6 to 6. Look at how at ease he's over there. And... Uh, oh my god, it's super slippery. But he just danced over there. And uh, we're almost knee high, walking over the stream. And the stones, you know, I just don't want to slip and uh, lose my footing over here. So I'm taking my time. So Kuya is positioning the bamboo shoot to uh, capture the water. You okay? Are you okay? Okay. So uh, he sliced the tree at an angle. Over here, and the sap is... Uh, coming out it's leaking you alright bro? yeah okay yeah it is yeah we're losing light here but I'm trying my best to uh, document the he made it he made a oh cut. yeah he now made a cut Go ahead. Putting that in, the, the grass in there so that the, the water will come out now to keep it yeah. open. To guide the water into the chute until the bamboo. See? See, it's from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yes, at night the tree produces water. Yeah. So that's going to harvest water for quite a few hours. And when that fills up, then we come and collect it. Drink it, then you don't have to purify it. Yeah. You can drink it so you don't have to purify it like you said. Drink it right out of the cup. Yeah. Because the tree acts as a uh, filtration device for the water so it's safe to drink. So he's hitting it at a, a different angle here. What you can harvest from uh, Mother Nature, what Mother Nature gives. So he's grabbing another leaf. You know, this is all being done while the food is being cooked. This is so crazy. There's like a whole ritual to do this. Kuya asked for uh, the time before he even like came down here. He's like, like, what time is it? And then it's after six, so... Um... This is being done now. Look at that. So he's just refining it just to make sure that uh, he's maximizing the uh, water production from this tree into the bamboo.
all this effort to harvest very little of the life source that is water. Gonna make a deeper cut. Just checking the water flow. Okay. It's good. Yeah. I hope I don't slip and f it up right now, but I just want to get the inside. <laughs> And we're losing so much light. We are saying that we have to uh, change out the water. So that's what he's doing from the bamboo shoot. Yeah, if he doesn't change out the water and kind of do like a second round of the water, um, it causes an itch on your throat. Ooh, shit. But you see Kuya right here is uh, he... he use the uh, exterior of the bamboo to hold the outside of the bamboo because it's hot it just came out from the fire so you just use that as a clamp and he's filtering out the water right now so he can put a, a second round of water in there and uh, boil again and the fire is growing Yeah, he's transferring. Oh, something crew. Oh. He's transferring uh the food from the old one to the new one. I'm guessing that's because uh you know to kind of keep keep the heat balanced. Oh, sorry. You got it. Yeah, no waste. Just gonna get that out. Get the remainder of the whatever food is trapped in there out. See that vegetation? That would have gone to waste. Vegetables. Ah, vegetables. How about this here? Ah, later uh, we will put that mm. on the last uh, bowl. Ah. That's item vegetables. Well, just vegetarian food today. Okay, no problem. No protein, which is fine. Tomorrow will be protein. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought I heard him earlier that while we're doing this, he was going to catch some crabs. What did he say? He said, he said that he was going to catch a chicken tomorrow. <laughs> uh, tomorrow we will set the crab. Okay. Early morning. Oh, this is cool the way it is. Let's turn this off to conserve energy. Yeah. So that no one's gonna see. Okay, like it's 
Yeah, this fire has been going since like 4 p.m. We started the fire about, like started the effort about 3, 3.30. And uh, it's 6.33 right now. So the fire has been going for at least like uh, two and a half hours. And uh, it's been cooking for two and a half hours. So, uh, man, this is a very humbling experience. Even though I feel like uh, I'm more of a spectator on this uh, trip, but I'm trying to uh, gather and absorb as much information as possible. Very humbling experience, you know, all the effort that is put forth just to build a fire and cook something simple. Some uh, vegetations that we've gathered in the uh, uh, forest. No protein. Imagine we have to go and uh, hunt for a boar or something like that. Uh, it'll be a lot more effort. Look at all the effort. That's rice. Rice is rice. Yeah. Oh, that's a rice cooker right there. That's right. Yeah, the big fat bamboo shoot. It's a rice cooker. The heat coming out, shooting out. Yeah. The heat's coming out there. He uh, made a little opening over there. Shoved some rice. He made a cut over there. Shoved some rice in there. Put water. And then close it back up. Yeah, you can see the little... Uh, triangle. And then he closed it back up to trap in the heat. And uh, that's going to take a few minutes. Not literally, of course. Maybe even half an hour. I don't know. But that's the name of the game. Wow, as the night falls, you start to hear uh, the animals come out. Birds. Uh, that's uh, a very small frog, the smallest frog. Small frog? Yeah. Oh, so the frogs are out to play? The noise is like a bird. Oh, yeah, it sounds like a bird. Yeah. But they're frogs. I stand corrected. Yeah. They have Puerto Rico. Yeah? They have, they have little frogs like that. Yeah. National animals. Oh, is it really? They're not the tropical poisonous frog though, right? No. Okay. These are harmless? Yeah. But yeah, the, you hear like, oh my god, you can hear the jungle. You know, those, uh, those little frogs are in Amazon. In the Amazon. Oh, okay, they okay. On the back of the frog, it secretes the poison. Yeah. They the arrows and they wipe the back of the frog back. Yeah. So that only, uh, those poisonous frogs are only in uh, the Amazon? Yeah. You know that uh, that frog, the smallest frog. You can use that for the bait. Bait, the bait? for what? Yeah, bait for uh, fish. fishing. Oh. You know the the eel, eel, and uh, the fish, uh, the rounded uh, fish, the round fish. Yeah. The and round uh, fish. Slimy. It's like pitch dark. Guya is like still working super speed. Like he was zooming all over the place, capturing more firewood. He's down by the river right now doing something with his machete. Jay and I right here is trying to build a second fire closer to the entrance of the uh, the little teepee here, which we cannot see. To keep away the animals. Apparently, uh, there, there you go. Teepee here. <laughs> to keep away the animals. Animals apparently don't like smoke. But, uh, that was a lot of effort. I'm fading. What time is it right now? 7.10. And I'm fading. I would not survive. I'm fortunate to have the 
Ku Ya Joseph and Jay right here who has experience. Even I is like uh, going stronger than me. I'm proud of her. It's boiling. Yeah. Ooh, a lot of smoke. Damn. Cracking open the rice barrel. Missing the rice, I get the beautiful rice. Wow. Open it up, open it up. Wow, look at that race. Wow. It's compact in there. <laughs> it looks delicious. And these are the serving bowls. Also made of bamboo. Nature provides. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need help, Kuya? Mm -hmm. Can I help with anything? Yeah. Here, mm -hmm. what can I help with? So what are we now doing? We're going to divide you. Into, Into four. four. Yeah. <laughs> divide the rice to fours. Yeah, cut it in half and then half of that. Good rice. Should I put it in the bamboo juice? You want? You have huh? a spoon. You flip it around and use the other end. You can move it into the. Oh, we don't have a spoon. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, no uh, spoon. But to create a spoon. Made from coconut. <laughs> <Yeah>. Bowl. <laughs> Bowl. Bamboo pot holder. Yeah. Bamboo pot holder. That's a coconut shell, by the way. Mm -hmm. Bring your, uh, get your uh, cup. cup. Uh, excuse me, get your cup. Oh, this is mine. Oh, that's for a uh, foreigner. 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 <laughs> Big Yeah, we're dividing up the food right now. Dinner is served, or dinner is being served. Here, let me uh, okay.
Yeah, I'll grab it. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All the vegetables. Oh, you're making a spoon. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the the soup, since it was processed in the, or cooked in the bamboo, you can taste the bamboo in the soup. It's part of the taste. It's delicious. Look at the spoon made out of bamboo. Turn it around, honey. Damn! <laughs> but we need to clean this <laughs> Yeah, after we're done with it, we're going to eBay it off. We're going to auction it off. Serving time. I'm gonna take my spoon back to Cebu. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna bring that remembrance for that Kit Kat. For Diana. For Diana. Give me the small, the smallest piece of rice, honey. Okay. Like the frabbings in the frabbings, huh? Latin. When you go to Boho, you're going to make this on the fabric? Yeah. That's mine? It's so much? Yeah. No, I just scattered the rice, that's why. Get some for you also, because it's not enough for everybody. Get some of this over to you. Oh, right, it's eating time. Turn off my camera. Uh, we're calling a night right here. And uh, shine down there. We're using the hammock as a cover. Our head is exposed. It's completely exposed. This is the outside. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> I feel so icky. I didn't even like shower. My hygienes are completely out the door. I feel so bad. I'm not used to this, but um, I I totally appreciate the experience. But uh, we're sleeping on the floor on top of banana leaves. There's like no cushion whatsoever. I can feel everything under the banana leaves. But again, this is very humbling. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, it's like a bee. Oh, look, Jay. It's Halo. Too nice. Jay is showing off his technology, his military stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah, this experience is uh, very humbling. This is only the first evening. But um, we'll see how things go. You can see things are just flying, uh, attracting the light. So we're going to turn off the light right here call it a night wake up in the morning and remove our contacts and clean it and uh just go with the flow <laughs>